Welcome back everyone, my name is Origami Master and I'm here in another video. In this video I'm going to teach you how to make this um, lounger lawn chair thing that I designed a couple years ago. So, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is fold a square base. So if you don't know how to do that, you're going to start with the colored side up if you have paper like I do with white on one side and color on the other. And then you're going to fold diagonally point to point. Crease that well and unfold and then fold point to point the other direction as well. Unfold again and then you're going to flip it over so that the white side is facing up and you're going to fold edge to edge making a rectangle. Unfold and fold edge to edge the other direction, making another rectangle. And unfold. And now you have a plus and an X on the white side, like this. Then you're going to bring all four, with the white side facing up, you're going to bring all four corners together in the top folding along all of the folds you've already made. So you have something like this. And then you're going to take two of these flaps, put them down, and then fold two one direction and two in the other. And then flatten that all down and you should have one side closed and one side that you can open. Now you're going to make sure the open side is facing towards you and then you're going to take the bottom right edge, just one flap, and fold it to the center like this. So you'll have that and then do the same on the other side. So you'll have that. Crease those well and then unfold and do the same thing on the other side but make sure not to flip it this way so that you're doing it on the, with the closed side at the smaller tip. You have to make sure the open side is facing towards you when you do these folds. Line up the edges with the crease. And then you'll have this on the other side as well. Unfold that. So now you've got these sort of kite shaped crease outlines on both sides. Then what you're going to do is basically what you do with um, an origami crane, a traditional crane. But if you don't know how to do that, I'll explain it here. So you're going to lift up just the first layer here. See there are lots of flaps on the open side. You're just going to pull up the first layer like a bit like that and then you'll notice you have these creases here and these creases here that you just made. So you're going to fold along all of those at the same time creating a new crease here in between these two points where the creases meet up. So it'll look like this. Fold along those creases. And then it'll kind of be a little floppy. And then you'll just flatten it this way and crease right there on that line because that's a new crease. Then you're going to fold that down and then flip it to the other side and do the same thing except leave it open. So again, pull up just this one flap a bit, fold along those lines, and then flatten it this way. And 
So now you'll have this on this side and this on this side. Now, on the side that you can see the little point that would be the back of the crane, the hump of the crane, um, you're going to fold that down along its natural hinge, increase it well, and fold it back. Just do that a couple times so that it's got to crease both ways. Then you're going to um, open up the side here to so sort of look on it from the side and you'll see you have these two little legs here separate from this point that we did the bird crane thing and then folded it down. So you'll have these two little legs. You're going to flip the model over and then you'll see you now have these two little legs on the top. You're going to lift one up on its natural hinge, kind of fold it back and forth so that it stands up, and then take the outside and open it, kind of stick your finger in there, and then do a squash fold, making sure to line up the crease with the crease on the back so that it's going straight out. Push it down, flatten it, so you'll have that. And then do the same thing on the other side. So lift it up, open it, squash, make sure to line it up before you make any strong creases. So now you'll have this sort of four-pointed star sort of thing. Now you're going to fold, uh, flip it back to the other side and lift up this uh, back point here and you'll notice that there's kind of some openable pockets on either side of it. You're going to open up both of those at the same time, stick your fingers in there, and then kind of pull the two sides apart but with your fingers on both sides, kind of spreading it out so that the top kind of bubbles out here um, and you want to form a perfect square in the center. So just kind of oops, slowly open it out be as accurate as you can and then flatten it down. That's probably the trickiest step so if you manage to do that then you're pretty much set for the rest of the model. Now it'll look like this and you want to lift up that bottom flap so that you have a sort of a diamond shape here. Then you're going to take one layer from the side here, you kind of got two layers and then this flap. You'll take one layer and fold this point to the center point here. So it'll look like this. And then crease like that and it won't lie flat, there'll be this little flap standing up here and you're just going to flatten it so that this top edge here is parallel with this middle line here. So like that. And then crease it flat. Now the model will look like this. You're going to do the same thing on this side, making sure to just take that one flap, not both of them. Crease it flat, like that, and then put this down, and there you go. That's one side done. Now we're going to fold this one layer of flat back to where it was, and then you're going to flip the model around and do the exact same thing we just did, but on this side. So fold this flap up, fold this in. Crease it, flatten here, model lies flat, other side, and fold this flap just one layer back and now you have these two little we've kind of shortened thinned out these four flaps here 
and we've got these these two little pieces here that as you can see on the other model will be the two legs that kind of make it stand up. Now it's basically just some shaping. Um, we roll up the arms, roll the top, roll the bottom a little, and then fold it so that it kind of goes up and down on that side and stays flat in the middle. So we're going to start by keeping it on this side, flatten the legs a little bit, and we're going to take the two sides. So notice how the flaps are kind of going this way. That's how you know that these two are the sides, and these two are going to be the head and the, the bottom. Also, you can identify the two side flaps because they're a little skinnier and differently shaped than the other two. So, you're going to take the tip and fold it to the exact center here, so right there. So you're going to fold it into the center, like that, and then do the same on the other side fold that tip into the center and then you're going to look inside here under these two flaps and see that you can kind of lift it up and there's sort of a pocket in there you're going to tuck this flap into the pocket so that it stays and do the same on this side as well so tuck it into the pocket and you'll have this. And then we're going to flip it back over and then roll each of the sides in to make the arms of the chair. So, sort of like that. You can kind of do this however you want. Skinny, fat, tight, not tight. So now you have the arms. And then before we roll the head and the, um, the bottom, we're going to fold uh, kind of shape these legs a little bit so that it stands and then we're going to fold between the sides um, ends of the arms so we're going to fold up at the top pick which end you want to be top and which to be bottom it doesn't really matter but we're going to fold up at the top oops sorry just sort of lightly like that and down a little bit here not a really hard fold and don't keep it folded kind of do it half folded and then you can either leave it kind of get the legs right you can either leave it like this or you can roll the top and the bottom like I've done in the orange one I did here so that's pretty much it uh, I hope you learned something in this video. If you need help, just leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm so close to 50 subscribers. It's really exciting. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.